So Straight Eight is a film competition that I started in 1999, last century. Um, I asked 20 friends working in the film industry if they would like to make a short film using just one cartridge of Super 8 film. The cartridges only last 3 minutes 20 seconds, so you have to fit your whole film on that cartridge. And on top of that, uh, the first time you see your film is with the audience, with everybody else. So uh, every shot is taken in order because every single time you pull the trigger on the camera, you are making another shot in your film. There's no opportunity to edit anything. Everything about your film is made on the shoot in the order of the story. The Super 8 cameras don't record sound really these days. So when you enter Straight 8, you make your soundtrack and you send that separately. But at that time, you have not seen your film yet. And that still hasn't changed now. Now people send us their soundtracks digitally over the internet, but they still haven't seen their film when they make their soundtrack. And we just put their sound to the first frame of picture. And nowadays, after 12 years of doing CAN and 18 years of the whole concept being alive, we have a, a jury and we have to select which films are shown. The first time we showed all 20 films and nobody coming to the cinema knew if their film was black or out of focus or amazing. Everybody had to wait and see. Now in Cannes, we select the best eight from between 100 and 200 entries from around the world. So when people come to see their film in Cannes, they can be fairly confident it's good, but they still don't know if every shot worked or if there's something that's out of focus or whatever. So it's a very exciting screening. Uh, they will be online later in the summer, but first they have to be shown in London for another premiere uh, in a very big cinema uh, in central London, right by P uh, Piccadilly Circus uh, called Picture House Central. Uh, it's 341 seats, big screen, and we're showing 40 films that have not yet been seen, as well as the eight that were seen in Cannes here. And everyone will have this experience of seeing their work for the first time it's like having your first cuts, your final cuts, your rushes, your premiere, all in one go. And it's pretty mind blowing. This year, the judges that helped us were Asif Kapadia, um, a great British editor called Justine Wright, who's worked a lot with Kevin MacDonald on Touching the Void and One Day in September. She's also edited Locke and um, Last King of Scotland. She was one of the people who entered Straight Eight the first time when I asked my friends uh, she was an editor that I worked with. So she, she made one of the first straight eights. And then this year she's on our jury. Uh, also on the jury was um, Bradford Young, the Oscar nominated director of photography of Arrival and Selma. And he's currently shooting Star Wars in the, in the UK. And uh, also Jason Solomons, who is a British film critic, uh, an author and broadcaster. So they help us select the, the best eight and that we showed here in Cannes this year. And people can decide which film is their favorite, but I really, we really like the idea. There's no one, two, or three gold, silver, bronze. I don't know why, but I've always liked that idea that your prize is, is being screened and you should learn as much as possible from that moment of how the audience reacts. And that's more important, even more important for the London screenings because there we're showing 40% of the entries and these people, some of them are borderline whether we would show them at all. And if they really listen to how their film plays and pick up on the audience, they'll learn a lot. And it can really help them make a great film the next year, whether it's a straight eight or whether it's another film. It's so important to listen to the audience, you know, and as a filmmaker, it's very important to make the film you want to make. But there's no point unless an audience is going to enjoy it. And it's no good if that audience is just your mum and your cousin, because they're gonna say, brilliant, I love it, it's well done, brilliant. But when you go to a cinema and you've got 300 people watching it and they've just seen maybe 10 other films, you know the bits that work and you know the bits that don't. And it pushes you to try a little bit harder to make sure that that first minute is really compelling and that second minute takes you on a bit more of a journey and that third minute doesn't disappoint. And that last 20 seconds 
leaves you feeling something, you know, or laughing or shocked or something to remember. We talked about going to other festivals, like maybe Berlin or maybe Toronto or maybe wherever. But when we talk to a lot of people who like Straight Eight and who have made Straight Eight films and talk to them about this, they were like, no, no, can. It's great. You know, that's the whole thing is they don't really have um, much going on for emerging talent. They, well, they do have short film corner and things, but Berlin has talent campus and other things for, for nurturing talent. And Cannes is very much about business and the red carpet and you know, the press. And so it's really nice to do an event like Straight Eight, which is very, we say grassroots. It's very uh, lo-fi, it's very raw here in Cannes. And that feels special. And so um, I think we'll keep coming to Cannes. And uh, it, it also gets easier every year because we make more contacts. We know the cinema, we know the streets we know we've now found this place for which we had the after party at and um, it's if it ain't broke don't fix it um, and we really always encourage people to enter straight eight, um, no matter how experienced you are as a filmmaker, it's a great challenge to do something so pure and so raw, you know, no grading. If you want to double expose a shot, you know, get a camera that will rewind the film, you know, two seconds and do a two second double exposure. Do some stop frame animation to help tell your story. Is it a dream sequence? Uh, no one does this stuff anymore. You know, really, Super 8 cameras are really basic but there's still so many ways to bend time, bend reality, to take your audience on a journey. And, and some of those old school techniques are wonderful to explore. One of the teams from Germany made an incredibly complicated film using fantastic old school in-camera special effects techniques. And um, they referenced the film Metropolis uh, as an inspiration. And they've managed to do some things which really blew the audience away. I mean, with no post-production. So we always say to people, no matter how experienced you are, if, if you've made commercials and music videos or even a feature film, we'd love you to make a straight eight. And if you've never made a film before, we'd love to see you make a straight eight. I love the fact that it, the rules of straight eight makes it a very level playing field for filmmakers of different experiences to join together and compete together in a friendly way. So we always say to people, you know, if you have a straight eight in you, we'd like to see it. Get yourself a super eight camera, get a really good idea and go and Google straight eight. Straight eight.